even the most perfect reproduction, one thing is lacking, the here and the now of the work of art, its unique existence in a particular place. It is this unique existence, and nothing else, that bears the mark of the history to which the work has been subject. You are given a book from the school library. At last desire was granted. For a week you were wholly given up to the soft drink of the text that surrounded you as secretly, densely, and unceasingly as snowflakes. You entered it with limitless trust. The peacefulness of the book that enticed you further and further. The child seeks his way along the half-hidden paths. To him, the hero's adventures can still be read in the swirling letters like figures and messages in drifting snowflakes. His breath is part of the air of the events narrated.